What's up YouTube, it's Franklin from Dual Humor and we're back with part 2 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Pack Challenge and um, I'm really excited, I really enjoyed the first one if you have not checked it out yet there will be um, an icon that will send you to it and yeah basically it's just um, just opening 10 packs of two different sets and seeing which one price value had won the other one and in the end we'll look at it we'll tally it up in a chart and we will see who is the winner um it's pretty fun it's pretty interesting it's a good concept i love opening packs i know you guys love it and it's basically kind of like an objective uh pick on which set is better basically based on today's standards of uh price wise and pulls and also there's a part two which you guys vote in the comment section below uh which one do you think uh is the winner or just in general which one's a better set and why so it's pretty fun pretty interesting and i love it so let's just get started with this guys um so the first thing we're gonna do is open up booster pack storm of ragnarok um yeah man let's get some let's get thor man <laughs> Uh, let's go guys. So let's see what we got in here First pack we get divine wind of mist valley cool card uh, Barrier resonator and what we got Loki We got Loki guys and scrap worm. Um, yeah Loki, I think that's a nice uh, two couple of bucks right there gorgeous card I remember seeing it in the anime, and I was like oh god That card is busted um and then we got another, we got, this card's cool as well, Hourglass of Courage. So, we'll sleeve up Loki in the Dragon Shield of Silver. I didn't have gold, so we're going to use Silver. The other one has Ivory matted. So, yeah, let's sleeve up Loki. That is pretty awesome. Um, we'll move everything a little more to the side. We'll move um, Extreme Victory over because this is Storm of Ragnarok's time to shine. And let's get it, guys. Ooh, nice. Let's see. A Karakori, Worms, and Foolish Return. Some resonator, and ooh, Kirishima. I think that card has some value, so maybe we'll put them right here. And let me look at Foolish uh, Return. I don't remember this card. What does it do? So it says select one card from your in your opponent's graveyard and return it to the deck. Yeah. That is foolish, guys. Do not do that. Um, that's a terrible card. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Especially in today's standard. If you were, I understand back then maybe the graveyards, but like now everything recycles and dumps themselves. Forget it. Sheehan's Daredevil and Nordic Eretic. Ooh, Nordic cards. Awesome. The new support for Nordics, which is not really that new. It's like a year old, but it's pretty cool. Daredevil. Sheehan's Daredevil. All right. So yeah, um, we aren't gonna put up and like add up every cent card, every card in the stand that we pull. We're just gonna add up ones that are like fifty cents or more-ish around there, uh, because yeah, we do not want to waste. It'll be it'll take forever to edit all this stuff out. We are, you wouldn't see this for a year. Doppel Warrior, which is good. That card is worth some bucks. And ooh, sharks and Odin's eye, gorgeous. So right now we're getting we we are gonna add the total like last uh, video. Um, and I I just really like opening packs. I know you guys enjoy it as well, and it's a good way to incorporate some interesting concepts and some fun things um, to it and interactions with you guys. Watts, what you got support? Ooh, Kirishima or Kai Musha. Kamusha. I call it Kirishima. I don't. I, some of these six Sam's I can't pronounce their names. Forgive me in the comment section, all you six Sam players. Let's see. Ooh, Elemental Hero Ice Barrier or Ice Edge. Cool. Nice chibi art right there. And Escape from Hope. For Hope. Hope for Escape. There you go. That card's actually worth some money too. Um. Yeah. Let's see guys, I remember playing Hope for Escape in my Exodia build, it was old school. Ooh, Legendary Samurai, maybe this card? I'm not sure, I would have to put it up though. Uh, Daredevil, and Needle Pin, and this is the time where 
Konami imported a lot of their OCG cards that they were, were missing in their sets. So a lot of these cards are like not even re relevant and viable in um, back then. And you're like, what? Why is this card in here? It's just because Konami wants to import some cards that we haven't gotten yet from the old school days. So it's pretty cool. And Vion Matter. Ooh, okay. Nordic Horse. Mad Horse. The Dark Horse right here. Pretty cool. I can't say his name. Gilfax, I think his name is. And Token Stampede. So, pretty cool. Yeah, these Nordic cards, just like Six Amps, I can't pronounce them. I can barely pronounce the, the easy names, let alone those names. Um, oh, there we go. That tab was a little hard to open. Let's see what we got here, and ooh, another Ice Edge, so multiple of him, which is pretty cool. And Blackwing, Blackwing Boras, the Sharp, cool. And Compass, cool. We're up to the last pack for Storm of Ragnos. Can we pull that Ghost Rare Odin? Come on, guys. Or at least Thor, man, an ultimate rare, something. Come on. This wish us luck. And let's see. And Terminal World's cool. And nothing. Wow. Well, it's got to be pretty easy for Extreme Victories to win this one. March. Towers Ragnarok. Awesome card. Awesome artwork with Thor in there. Pretty cool. So now let's move these cards to the side. We are going to sleeve up some of the, the cards we, we didn't sleeve up before um, we go to Extreme Victories. But I have a feeling that Extreme Victories is gonna win this one. It's just not a lot of uh, value right now that you see in this that and this uh and this side of the booster pack challenge. But Doppel Warrior was pretty good. Um, that card's gonna that card it's gonna maintain its value. That's for sure. I think there's a super rare though. So but it's the OG printing, so it might, it, it'll probably retain its value. There we go, we'll move everything out of the way. We'll move the silver mats, and we're going to go to Extreme Victory, guys. First pack of Extreme Victory, first edition. Damn, this thing is hard to open. There we go, we'll just open it the old school way. And we got, let's see, ooh, TG's, TG Rush Rhino, that's pretty cool. I don't know if that one has any value. I'll put it up just in case. Um, I doubt it though. Mm. And we'll even, well, obviously, even if like the super rares don't have value, just because they're hollows, I will put up their value uh, for these sets because super rares are hard to come by. So, reboots, um, mech lords, and we got a necro, uh, necro defender, cool card. I don't think any of these cards have any uh, value, but I love Red Dragon Vessel. That's awesome. Um, let's see. We should be, hopefully, we get something good. Alright, TG. And, ooh, Full House. That definitely has some type of value. You're seeing a lot of play. And these and these uh, cards are kind of pretty shiny, man. Damn. They're silky. So we'll put, we'll, we'll uh, sleeve a full house, which is awesome. Awesome card, awesome name. I did definitely see a lot of play when uh, Sky Strikers were running about. Now that uh, Engage is hit, banned basically, it's not going to see that much play. And, ooh, Gladiator Beast, Esserdai, uh, uh, or something like that. If the, this card can only be special summoned from the extra deck by returning the above cards you control to the deck. Two Gladiator Beasts, so it doesn't have any effect. Just a generic Gladiator Beast card. And we got Psych, Psych Beast. Not the best Gladiator Beast card, it, it looked cool as hell. It's like a gorilla, with a, it's like a King Kong in a chariot, basically. So that's pretty awesome, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't have any effects. So that's, let's keep going, guys. Um, Ooh, Mystic Piper! Awesome card! And, uh, wow! That's gorgeous. Gorgeous card. Mystic Piper, guys. 
that card uh, saw a lot of play and even does see some play in like some relinqu relinqu relinquished builds uh, Junk Servant um, but definitely it's gonna be worth its value right there and I know it's a valuable card that one it doesn't have a lot of reprints and let's see guys oh snaps um, Elemental Hero Neil Knight awesome card as well um, pretty cool artwork and you know it's a Neos card it's gotta have value come on guys you already know that let me sleeve up that guy damn it's on uh, extreme victories is destroying destroying this uh what <laughs> destroying this this uh this uh booster pack challenge but look at this guys I'm about to sleeve this up <laughs> that part has value let me let me just let me just like sleeve that up guys let me just sleeve that up that looks Cool as hell, I've never seen that before. So yeah, the mystery card, this card automatically wins you the duel upon activation. Um, what the hell? Oh shit. <laughs> Blue Dragon, Blue Rose Dragon, awesome card. Definitely worth its value. Uh, yeah, not only did we get the mystery um, sleeve of Destiny, basically but we got blue rose dragon as well so yeah these these uh booster pack challenges are getting better and better by the episode seeing some secret stuff happening here i don't know i'm loving this this is gonna keep going if, we, if i keep pulling stuff like this awesome stuff uh mech lord army of grandel cool card um right now yeah i don't think um Storm of Ragnos has a chance right now. Uh, ooh, oh my god. <laughs> Another Mystic Piper. What is this, man? What is this? This booster pack challenge. Why does... When we... I always make these booster pack challenges. One cha one booster pack destroys the other one. What is this? This is never a fair fight. Jesus. Um, so three secret rares... Um, an awesome little gift in this and just randomness right now. So let's see. And who? Oh, toe and tree toad. Cool card. I don't think it has any value, but you never know. So I'll just leave him. I'll leave him right there. But yeah, basically, um, I think Extreme Victories won this, but the chart will be right here to see what it happened and um yeah if you guys really enjoy this series really enjoy the channel please hit a like subscribe and if you guys are able to support us on patreon and any penny helps it really helps out the channel um and we appreciate all your support and love um anyway enough rambling um thank you for watching um and put it down in the comment section which one you enjoyed which pox which booster pack won this challenge? And Franco from Do Humor, out. Peace, guys.